And the second thing is always almost a second thing, <laughs> and that is saving as this blank.php, and we are going to call this cookies.php. And here on the duct type the declaration on, above that, we are going to open a PHP tag. Okay. Now know that the cookies, how we set cookies, is with a function called set cookie. We, you also got to know that the information of the cookie of the user is saved in a super global called cookie. All right, so this is gonna all the information is gonna be saved in the super global here, and it's gonna be in a associative array. Okay, just know that this is a variable. All right, underscore cookie. Now, don't get confused about the associative array thing. Know that PHP handles that in the back. It's already set for us, meaning that we can call this set this cookie super global anywhere in our application in any page and we don't need to let PHP know that that it is a global PHP already has it defined for us and has all the methods attached to this in the back and when I say methods I mean functions right there's a, a bunch of things happening in the background that we don't know about that PHP takes care okay and of course with the Apache server so now First of all, let's go ahead and set the cookie, and then I'll show you how to read it. All right. So right now, let's let's go ahead and set the cookie. We're gonna use a function called set cookie. All right. And we know this is how we declare. This is how we call a function with the name of the function and the parentheses. And know that this function is already set for us in PHP. It's a pre-built function. So it's gonna take three parameters. All right. Know that it takes three parameters. The three parameters, the first one right here, is going to be the name. So I'm just going to say name, and I'm just going to say some name. All right? You know how descriptive I am with names. <laughs> that was actually being ironic, all right? The second is going to be the value of that. All right? So the value would be, I don't know, let's say the 100. That, that would be the value. Could be anything you want, it really doesn't matter. And the third parameter that is going to take its expiration. When do we want this cookie to expire? Next week, two weeks from now. Let's see, let me just write this. Three years from now, when do you want that cookie to expire? The great thing about this is that it's it's unreal if you think about it. We can go ahead and, and take control of the set up a value into a, a user's browser right and then we can set that value there for years when they come back we you know who they are again and then we can just say hey listen last time you were watching this now I want you to watch this watch this I mean it's unbelievable if you think about it right it's really awesome so anyways let's go ahead and for expiration we're gonna use a time function this time function and most of the of the functions with time related to time uh, they are done with seconds so this time function the way it is is gonna give me all the seconds from 1970 and you can reference this time function in the php.net if you want to check it out but basically it's gonna give me all the seconds from 1970 till now what we need to do is because we have all the seconds here right current seconds but we when it, what we want to do is add an expiration date. So I'm, from from today, I want to add something here. And the way I do that is I'm gonna use 60 seconds, right? Then we know in 60 seconds, uh, so we use 60. Remember this is gonna be seconds here. So you know in 60 seconds we have a minute. 60 minutes we have an hour. All right, and then in then in 24 we have 20 we have 24 hours. We are what we're doing is we're multiplying seconds times minutes times days. All right, right here seven. Okay, this basically this translates into a week ahead right now. We are adding a week to it, so we're doing seconds times minutes times hours. Okay, we know that 60 minutes equals one hour right right here times 24 that's 24 hours 24 hours times 7 that equals a week 
all right? Just keep that in mind. These are seconds that we are multiplying. So we have a week in advance here. So we are setting this cookie to expire in a week. Let's actually set it to expire in a later time. What about if we want it to, to expire later in three years from now? So we need to make that calculation right here. I'm not going to go into details about that. Just know that this is a week from now. And let's let you, this video is already running a little late. So let's go ahead and set this right now. So let's first start with the name. Let's do the value here. All right. And expiration. Expiration. I'm going to do a copy right here. Right here. All right. So now, all right, this cookie is going to be set into the browser every time they visit our application. So we have to, they have to visit cookies.php. This is going to be set automatically. All right. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we find out what, how we, uh, let we see if it was set, all right? So let's go and click here, and it's going to go to the document. Right now, the cookie is supposed to be set because we visit that, uh, this page right here. So let's go to Chrome, and let's find out. Let's go to Settings. Let's go to Show Advanced Settings, Content Settings. And it should say something about localhost, all right? So uh, let's look for it somewhere here. Site locally. Let's see if we can find it without spending too much time on it. So the site should be localhost. I, you've probably seen it already right here, localhost. And you see right here the sum name, right? That's the value right there. So let's click on it. Let's see what, what information we get. So we got the name, some name. We got the value content, the domains, the local host. It gave us some extra information. The forward slash, sent from any kind of connection, accessible, yes, created right now. And in a week, it's going to be expired. All right? Seven days from the 9 is the 16 right there. Okay, and we can remove it right here. So on this video here, I show you how to set up a, a cookie. Now, every time... Now we can go ahead and test this out if we wanted to, all right? So we can find out, we can set this information in the user's computer, and then when they come back, we can do things depending on this information. We can say if name is this, if value is this, or if the user did this and that, we do this and that. I mean, I'm not going to go into details right now, but just know that we can do things depending on the user on this cookie cookies values all right on the next video i'm going to show you how to read this value all right and how to do things depending on that value anyways thank you so much for watching this lecture i see you the next one